Okay, so a lot of people have been asking for this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a YouTube, Twitch, working out, eating, school. I do that every single day. I work out every day. I get eight hours of sleep every day. I go to school every day. I miss some classes, but only the ones that don't really matter. I do YouTube every single day, and I upload on Twitch every single day, or stream on Twitch every single day, besides Saturdays and Sundays. How is this even possible? A lot of people ask. A lot of people are like, how in the world do you time manage while daily uploading, daily streaming, and doing school? And on top of that, I don't even tell people, but I have- I spend like two hours a day with my family. My parents are divorced, but I spend like two hours a day with my mom binge watching The Walking Dead. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, how is that even possible? Also, we're in a game with a YouTuber. We random queued Zai, which is really cool. Anyways, a lot of people ask me, and I'm gonna be going over it in this video. I mean, going over my schedule, what I do on a daily basis, and... Um, my plan keeps me with zero hours left. That's right, I- I, I literally... Uh, I'm recording this. It's 10.50 p.m. right now. Uh, I'm gonna edit it and sleep by 12.15. Uh, I'm gonna wake up at um, 8.15 and then I'm gonna go straight to class and uh, should be should be interesting. So before I say anything, let's just go over my schedule. So I wake up, um, let's just let's just say school days for the sake of making it more logical for the majority of these, this audience. Um, I wake up at around 7.25. I have school at 7.30, uh, that's pretty late to wake up, but I wake up at 7.25, everything is online, there's a hybrid option, but I stay online, and, uh, usually from the night before, I have a video rendered for the next day, but I'll get into that. I'm in class, usually my video is already ready for 12 o'clock, that is when I upload. During school, I usually just grind, uh, Skywars, or since I quit Skywars now, I've been grinding duels. Uh, school's almost over though, so this is probably not the best time to make this video, but I grind duels in the classes that are easy, like junior seminar, which is basically um, a free period and stuff like that. We have a two-hour break during lunch, which is absolutely insane, but we do. Um, in that duration, I eat. Uh, if I didn't get eight hours of sleep any night, um, I sleep then a little bit if I need to. Um, not only that, but I also watch uh, TV with my mom and spend some time with her because spending time with your family is extremely important even if you're basically a full-time YouTuber. Uh, after that, uh, my school ends at around 1.45, but usually I just leave my class at 1.25. Um, most days on my final class it's just junior seminar, which is a study hall, so leaving early, uh, it doesn't affect anything. Our teacher's okay with us leaving early if we do our work, and I have 100 in that class, so, uh, nothing to worry about there. After that, uh, let's say it's around 1.30, I would say, when I leave class, or maybe earlier, and at 1.50 to 2, I start streaming. I just get ready in that time, I get ready to stream, um, and then I stream for three hours strictly every day. I don't go- uh, sometimes I go over, sometimes I do less, but normally around three hours, so 2 p.m. EST to 5 p.m. EST, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, after that, um, after I stream, I'm done at 5, I work out um, from around 5 to 6, or 5.15 to 6. Um, I don't work out past 6, unless, um, you know, something I delayed and I need to, because I don't really think there's a need for it. After working out, I shower. Um, I shower later in the night because I don't want to work out and then, uh, you know, be sweaty all night. Uh, that would just not make any sense at all. After working out and showering, um, it's around 6.30 I'd say, I come downstairs and I eat dinner, I spend some more time with my mom, um, and I watch some TV with her, or we just talk, and we, we have a good relationship, so we just spend time with each other, and uh, by then, let's say it's around 7.30 to 8, maybe, maybe sometimes even 9, depending on how much TV we watch. Um, we're both big Walking Dead fans, at least I've got her into it, now she is a huge Walking Dead fan as well, so sometimes it goes to 9. After that, I have some free time, so I record a video real quick, I think about an idea, and I edit it. Um, usually, I will do that at around 8.30 to 9, I will finish recording around, um, let's say, uh, 30 minutes after, uh, depending on if it's just a commentary. Depending on if it's just a commentary, it only takes like 30, 15 to 30 minutes, usually, so um, I just, you know, do that. I finish recording 
usually I finish recording by 10, but today it took me a little bit longer because I was actually spending time with my SO. Anyways, uh, after that, um, I render my video and I grind some duels or uh, chill on my phone playing Clash of Clans until around 10.30. It takes a little bit to render. Um, afterwards, after I do that, I kind of just, um, you know, finish editing, everything is finished. It doesn't take me too long to edit, my videos aren't too complicated unless I decide to edit them more. Um, I usually finish around, um, I usually finish editing before 11.30 to 12, and uh, after that, I put my video to uh, render, and then uh, I go to bed. And when I wake up, my video is done rendering, um, I do restart my computer before I stream, uh, and actually in the morning before I wake up or before I go to class just to you know make sure my PC doesn't overload to stick you know keep it running keep it safe and um, it just works really well okay now that we've gone over the school schedule let's just go over uh, some things I do to save a lot of time now people are always like how do you get enough sleep how, how do you I bought a, a, a gap for some reason. I don't know why I did that. How do you get enough sleep if you do so much stuff in a day? Um, when I sleep late, and sometimes I do sleep late, you know, it, it happens. It's not easy to avoid. I actually recently fixed my sleep schedule. It was kind of messed up for a little bit, but um, there's, there's some things. Oh my god, I fell off. No, that's really bad. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Uh, I might actually have to focus for a second and not die here. We're shifted. Um... Okay, we got him. Nice. So, the days I don't get eight hours of sleep, I uh, make sure to sleep during class or free time that I have in the next day. I only sleep during classes that won't really affect my GPA or my grades. Um, earlier in the morning, I have math, and I'm not very good at math, so usually I get some help with my friends, or I just, um, I actually have a tutor who I don't really see anymore much, but she helped me out a lot with math. And it helps out a lot, so I don't have to actually pay attention at 7.30 a.m. in class. Um, so yeah, it's one of the things that helps me get a lot of sleep. And I make sure to sleep 8 hours every day. And I maintain a good sleep schedule now, so uh, sleeping in class isn't really a thing anymore either. Um, a lot of people ask me how I grind so much, and I actually do it in school. Now, you might be thinking, but Potato, all of these things that you do just seem like you're doing them during school, and that's just bad, I can't do that. Well... Here's my situation. Grinding Skyros and duels during class actually makes me learn more. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually have ADHD. So, um, one of the things about ADHD is that um, when you're in class, you can't really focus on things you don't enjoy. It makes it very hard to. For example, lectures or something boring. Um, I, I can't focus during class if I'm not enjoying something. So math, especially history, uh, history is easier. I like history, but definitely math. Um, I can't really focus in class during math and I don't retain a lot of information, but when I'm playing Minecraft, I have this ability to hyper-focus, uh, which means just extremely well focus on something that I enjoy because I have ADHD. It's kind of like a superpower, honestly. ADHD has its pros. Um, Fun fact, that's actually what enables me to clutch so well. ADHD actually makes my reaction time a lot better because um, it just overall helps me, I guess, focus more on the game uh, because I can hyper focus. And that's why I'm so good at clutching because my reaction time is really good because of ADHD. So in a way, ADHD has actually made me really good at the game. But anyways, as I was saying, um, basically, uh, I hyper focus while I'm grinding and I subconsciously retain the information that I'm learning in class. So with that being said, um, let's say I'm taking a test someday. It won't help me with everything, but if I'm taking a test, oh my God, this guy's KB abusing. No, if I'm taking a test and, um, I'm playing Minecraft and I'm learning information during that class. Uh, when I take the test, I will actually be able to remember some stuff that I need to know for the test. Obviously, if I want to do well in the test, I have to study. I still do study. Uh, that's important. But, um, yeah, uh, I learn more I learn more while playing Minecraft than, than not. Um, because what happens when I'm trying to learn um, by just playing normally, or, or I mean learning normally, is I can't focus because I don't enjoy it. So then I do bad. Um, I'm going to die here uh, because there's a guy going from the other side as well. And this is bad. They're both going for me. 
Um, but yeah, I'm actually able to hyper-focus, and it's like a superpower, it's super cool. Uh, anyways, that's one of the things that enables me to grind and do school at the same time. Um, stop. What are you doing? That is not a good idea. Are you serious? There's no way you survived that. Okay, what is this guy doing? He's, like, going somewhere else. I don't know what he's doing. So yeah, that's one of the biggest things. If you guys want to be able to do a lot in your day and prioritize it, time manage, okay? That is one of the most important things. Don't do dumb stuff. Like, don't st don't chill on your phone. Like, if you guys really want to learn how to time manage, do things like not relaxing on your phone for a little bit, like just chilling on TikTok and stuff. That stuff is making you waste more time than you can imagine, okay? I promise you, if you cut that part out of your life, just those 15-minute sessions on TikTok, you're gonna save a couple hours a week, a couple hours a day, and that stuff is gonna add up, and it's gonna make a huge difference in your life. It's gonna make you way more motivated. It's gonna make you way happier. Um, it's gonna make you way more excited. Even I surf TikTok and uh, Twitter from time to time, but I don't do it nearly as much as I used to, and it saved me so many hours in the day, just, you know, kind of wasting time on my phone. Um, obviously, for some people, uh, using online stuff is an escape, and it helps them. Uh, if, if that's your case, I understand that, but this is just one of those tips that might help you save a lot of time if you want to do YouTube or Twitch or just prioritize your time better and have more fun with what you're doing. Another thing I would say to make yourself time manage is make um, a planner, or I guess use some kind of app that helps you um, remember to do tasks and... Uh, one of the most important things I would say is don't procrastinate stuff. If you procrastinate stuff, you will never get it done. Even I personally have this huge procrastination problem, but I have worked really hard on making it a little bit better. And oh my god, there's no way I actually hit that. I worked really hard on making my procrastination uh, less extreme. Obviously, it's still there. My ADHD also helps me <laughs> with procrastinating, which isn't a good thing, but uh, I'm not going to use my ADHD as an excuse. Um, I've done a lot to improve my procrastination and that's helped me a lot as well um once you learn how to be able to like not procrastinate you'll get stuff done really fast and you'll just do really well um also we got this bed here nice and i'm not saying it's a huge deal if you procrastinate everyone does in some things but in terms of like youtube and stuff if you procrastinate uh you're not going to be able to keep a consistent schedule and that is not good you will need a good schedule if you want to be able to do youtube uh, that's one of the most important things. You can't upload once a month and just expect to do well. Um, unless, like, your dream or something. But you can't upload, like, once a month and expect to do super well. It just isn't really a viable option. Uh, it generally just doesn't work, you know? Um, yeah, I just, I just wouldn't recommend it, honestly. It's just very inconsistent and if you're not motivated that's different but if you want to do youtube and twitch and stuff and you're not consistent then it's going to be a lot harder to grow and it's going to be a lot harder to get anywhere and i think that's one of the most important things now if you're doing youtube for fun that's a completely different story um, if you're just doing it for fun, consistency does not matter if you're just doing YouTube for fun. Uh, but if you want to be able to grow on YouTube and if you want an actual platform, uh, then generally you will have to be consistent. Um, unless you've already made it like Technoblade or someone else who basically doesn't have to keep a good schedule. But anyways, that's some of the tips that I would share for uh, maintaining a good schedule and time managing really well. Uh, maybe I'll go more in depth into this someday. I don't know. But um, this was really fun. Uh, I know a lot of people were asking how I time manage my stuff so well, and that is how. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below, and I will answer them. Anyways, guys, have a nice day. Uh, peace out.